Okay, last time we looked at this problem uh, where we calculated, used the array to find the high, the low, average, uh, and the population standard deviation of eight numbers. Um, so I wanted to change a few things on this one just to see uh, a couple of extra features in C++. And so first thing I want to do is just take our data and go ahead and uh, put that in there. So these are the same numbers we used last time. Uh, so I'm going to actually initialize the array. So you can see you initialize arrays uh, with comma delimited lists. Uh, since I initialized it, um, I, I don't really need uh, this array size anymore to tell it. Uh, it's going to automatically uh, put in eight elements. So I want to make a couple of other changes here. So we don't need to put that in here. Uh, and then, of course, we don't need uh, to declare array size, but we may still need it down here for our loops, for our for loops to go through uh, eight times. Uh, but we're going to change that up a bit. And what we're going to do is use the size of uh, function. And we're going to pass in, in the first instance, um, the array itself. That will tell us how many bytes that array is. And then we're going to divide that by the size of the first element uh, in that array and that will give us the total number of elements okay so we also need to move that uh, from there uh, below so that we've initialized the array first and then we'll check the size okay and we'll keep the variable name the same array size so that down here when we start going through the loop uh, our for loop it's it's going to stop at that you know one below the max size uh, for that okay so the other thing we uh, do um, is take out uh, the CN since we're already initializing the array with data we don't need to input so for each uh, parts of these we'll take out um, the piece that was uh, for input so and put it just back for a second so you can see what I took out so enter a number we don't need to enter a number because we're initializing that so we'll take that out we still need the high the low and all, all of that so we'll leave that in there and then let's execute uh, and run that and we get the results uh, pretty much the same thing we had last time from our, our data um, so that works well and, and it gives you kind of another example of how to use this size of operator uh, just to kind of, I guess, go a little further so you can see what that's actually doing, let's print out uh, those things. So um, we'll put out uh, the size of the array, and then we'll put another line, we'll put out the first element um, and the size of that first element just so we can see what that is, and it would be helpful if I... Uh, the end lines on here and, and I spell everything right so let's uh, let's try this out compile and run this and you can see for uh, the array I declared the size of the total number of elements in the array is 64 uh, and we look at the first uh, element of the array and it's uh, 8 bytes so to find the total number, since it's 64 bytes long, we divide it by 8 bytes and we get 8 elements is what we're looking for uh, later uh, that works with this. Okay, one, one more change here. Um, let's uh, go to C++17 uh, and we have this uh, new expression uh, in the standard library uh, size uh, of numbers and it'll give us the size of an array. Uh, we do need to include uh, array uh, or we could in include uh, the iterators. Uh, just a lot easier to remember array because most of the time you're, you're dealing with the size of an array uh, or some other container. Um, so we'll, we'll do this. The other thing we need to do for this to work, if we compile it right now, uh, we'll probably get an error. And it's saying uh, size is not uh, defined. So it actually is defined. We're just not using the right comp compiler options. So if we go to compiler options and we check this off, 
uh, we need to uh, add in STD uh, equals C++17, which is a C++17 standard. Um, for the compiler I have, it's not enabled. Uh, C++17 is not enabled by default. Uh, so let's compile and run this now that we added the compiler option. And we get the same uh, results as before. Um, so just a little bit easier to understand if, if we call the one um, expression here size of and feed it the array numbers as opposed to doing the size of where you're finding the size of the total array but divided, divided by the size of uh, one element. So if this is available in your compiler uh, that you're using, uh, it, it might be a little bit nicer way um, to deal with the size of arrays using that. Okay, so hopefully you learned something new about uh, arrays in C++.